Well, it's a sunny day today, still a little cool, but growing up in Michigan, I always loved it when April came and I knew that it wouldn't be long before the warm weather returned. I wanna to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I remember when we lived in Minnesota for a time, it seemed like summer would never arrive. And when it finally did, my daughter Kirsten and I were running to a park near our home and she was yelling at the top of her lungs, at last, at last. She was so excited. And I compare waiting for spring and summer to waiting for the Lord, because he is coming soon. We see the signs. Jesus said, when you see these signs happening, you know that the end is near. And so he's coming back for all of us who love him. And what a day that will be. But you know, the world is filled with, filled with so much pain, so much sorrow, and so much tribulation. We read about it in John 16, 33, when Jesus said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. You see, he has. When he died on that cross, and when he rose from the dead, he overcame death, he overcame sin forever. And he's coming back for those of us who love him. One day very soon, I believe. And what a day that will be. That was a song we always sang in church. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. So we have the hope. We have the hope of spring. We have the hope of resurrected power and the hope that Jesus will be returning for us. I want to leave you with this verse in um, Psalm 64, verse 10. It says, The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. So we need to hold on. I know things are difficult right now and the news can be depressing, but we need to maintain our joy. We need to maintain the glory of the Lord. Let him shine through us. Let him shine through you today and let people know that this winter that the world is in will soon be over. The snow will melt, the flowers will bloom, and then we'll all be with Christ in his kingdom. Those of us that love him, those of us that have asked him to forgive us of our sins. So if you haven't done that, ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Ask him to come into your heart so that you can live with him forever. That's the great reward that we all have to look forward to. Remember Jesus' words, be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. God bless, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.